It's time for Show Off Sunday, where everyone has a chance to show off their own car, and here's this week's winner. Thank you, Scotty Kilmer, for letting me show my car. Hello, guys and girls. Let me present to you the BMW 5 Series Estate or Station Wagon if you're in North America. This is the UK version, which is right-hand drive. This is a BMW 530 F11 chassis. It's very different from your normal uh, 5 Series saloon you get in North America. The one here, it's, uh, it's a diesel. And uh, this one is also a former police car. This BMW is made uh, for police services in Europe directly from the factory I you know this hasn't been modified uh, in any way by like police workshops or anything this one is the 2012 model is uh, 258 horsepower six-cylinder inline turbo diesel engine 0 to 60 in 5.8 seconds this car has got added reinforcement um, on the chassis and uh, around the body should like a high speed occasion, collision occur. These cars are very common in UK, Europe and Australia. I know station wagons in North America are slowly becoming rare due to the SUV market taking over, but here consumers will still buy them. A normal 530 would retail for about 43,000 pounds, which is around 55,000 US dollars. I purchased this car in 2017 for around 8,000 pounds, which is about 10,000 US dollars. So, you know, you get some really good deals here. Uh, here's a copy of the logbook and title that shows that it was previously owned by the police. When I purchased this car, it had about 120,000 miles on it with full service history by the police workshop who did full services every 10,000 miles. The car was like a motorway highway patrol car, so it's seen heavy use there. Let's start her up. Here's the interior. I had to do some modifications when I purchased this car. This car originally came with cloth seats, but the driver's seat was really worn and you could really feel the springs in there. So I got some leather seats from a breaker's yard or junkyard as you call it. And uh, it was off another accident car, which had about 35,000 miles. It cost me about, you know, $500 for the front and rear. Yeah, so this, this car has a just standard ZFM eight speed automatic gearbox uh, you know, goes into like a sports mode there you can use the paddle shifters as well which is good because of the high mileage the police workshops were doing oil changes when I bought the car I asked BMW and they said you know it's lifetime so we don't change it so I contacted um, ZF in Germany and um, and then I took the car there and they they stripped and serviced the gearbox and changed the oil and cleaned it all out in about four hours. I like with most of the modern BMWs, you have like, you know, the, the eco mode, comfort mode, and sports mode. It, generally, because it's a diesel, you get greater range. I'm getting about in town, in the city, I would get maybe 550 miles per tank. It's a 70 liter tank. Um, on the highway, motorway, I'd get maybe 620 to 650. So it's pretty good on, um, you know, uh, economy and stuff like that. Okay, the benefit of having this um, split tailgate is that you can open the glass separately. Again, like the benefit of having the the option of the glass opening separately, let's say you're going to Home Depot or DIY store, on many occasions I've done it, where I've got four by two timbers or, or just larger items from Ikea, then you could just store it in here, put the seeds down, and none of the other stuff will fall out. So it's quite a big load space. So to put the seats down, we just pull these. And they lie almost flat. So that's a lot of room for taking stuff. Again, it's a, it's a big trunk space. I mean, if I'm carrying uh, two in the back, and you know, I've taken this car to Scotland, Belgium, and Germany so if you know if space is required you can normally put a roof box on top the batteries under the floor I put that those timbers in there just so if I was carrying anything heavy it wouldn't go down 
and the auxiliary batteries here. So anyone who you know has a caravan or wants to tow anything, a trailer or something, you can hook the electrics up right there. They don't come as standard, only police cars tend to have the auxiliary batteries. I think this car is great value for money and yeah the problem is is that you get high mileage but you know if it's been maintained well then you know it should go on for many more. I've had no issues with it so far apart from just regular servicing but definitely it is a luxurious ride and it's really good on diesel. Uh, fuel economy is pretty good for the size of the engine and for the size of the vehicle as well. So I definitely recommend you know buying that. video and remember to have your car video highlighted here on my channel check this out so if you never want to miss another one of my new car repair videos remember to ring that bell